Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'll be talking to you guys about installing, uh, in creating multiple environments in Python uh, using the Conda, Conda distributions, uh, Conda package manager and the environment manager. Okay. Now, the first thing, first thing is we need to know what an environment is. So essentially, uh, if you install Python in your operating system, uh, Python in your operating system, then uh, usually there's just one environment, meaning just one installation of Python. But in cases where you have multiple versions of Py multiple versions of Python say, existing and then existing in the same computer uh, system, let's say, then each uh, each version of Python will be called as a separate environment. Okay, that's basically the fundamental difference. Okay, so what you have to do is just you have to make sure that uh, one uh, you just have to make sure that uh, when you're using the Python uh, running fi files in Python, you don't mess up with these operating you don't mess up with these versions. That's about it. Now, many people prefer mul having multiple versions in their operating system because of interoperability with multiple uh, sources. So there are people who have who work with uh, multiple operate multiple versions because they might have multiple projects. They might be working on multiple projects, and each of these projects have to work in a separate version of Python because if they don't. Uh, maybe the version control because of the changes of version or the sensitivity to update or updation or update or downgrade and options might make the uh, projects work and become unstable. So as a consequence, it is necessary for them to have multiple versions. Okay, for me, I work with Python 3.5, but every one once in a while, I just uh, I I might en I encounter some options which run through Python 2.7. So I used to have a backup copy of uh, I used to have a Python 2.7 as an environment with me. So I do my work with Python 3.5, but once in a while, in these kind of situations, I just go to Python 2.7 to get those done. The reason being is that I don't have those packages available in Python 3.5 yet. Okay. Now let's look at how to make environments. First, we need to know how many and en how environments are there. How many environments are there? So to uh, list out all the environments, all you have to do is just conda info envs. If you type this, it'll just list list down all the environments that are available in conda. So as of now, there's only one environment, and that environment is called as root. And it has the names, and uh, and it's available in this page. Usually, it's available in your home user directory. Okay, so usually, where the usually the place where you install it for the first time. Okay, now uh, to create a new environment, what you have to do is just type conda uh, create create, and then type slash slash minus minus name, or just the minus n. Either one is sufficient, and then what you type is your environment name. Okay, each of the environment has to have a separate name to be se to be you know uh, distinguishable from each other. You give a name as per your choice, and I'm giving it py27env because I'm going to install a Python 2.7 environment, and I'm and I'm going to tell the version of the Python. So if I just type Python 2, it's going to pick up the let it's going to pick up the latest version of Python 2 which is as of now it's 2.7.12 and it's going to install that okay so of course if you want a particular version say python 2.5 let's say just say python 2.5 and it'll going to pick it'll go and pick the last stable version of python 2.5 and install that for you so once you get that ready press enter and then it's going to go to the internet and fetch those packages fetch those packages and you just have to press yes and wait and just sit back all it now what it'll do is just uh, download these packages and install and install them. So this is going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and come back in a second. Hello guys, welcome back. Now if you look at it, the the all the files uh, that are required for Python to install over here, they were downloaded from the inter they were downloaded from the internet and. Uh, there you have it. Downloaded them, extracted them, linked them, and uh, and you have the environment ready. So now if you just now if you type the same command as before, conda info envs. If you look press enter, now it will show there are two environments: py27 env and then this root. And this star indicates which environment is presently active. Okay, and here you get the you get the location as to where the environment environment is. Okay. 
now now we have the different environments now let's t I'll tell you guys how to switch between the environments so let me clear this up now to switch between the environments you just have to type this command source activate and then your environment name py 27 e and v okay so if I press enter you just give it a second and then you should get a command prompt like this and if you look at it you get the name py27env before your command prompt and this indicates the uh, current presently active python and um, python environment in your con in your anaconda distribution power mini corner distribution so now if i type python over here now check this out it says python 2.7.12 continuum analytics okay indicating this is actually a python from our anaconda slash mini corner distribution now to deactivate this version and go back to your revert back to your original uh, environment you just have to type source deactivate and press enter and now if i type python over here there you go now you're back to your uh, back to your original version of python that you initially worked at and now let me tell you some uh, let me run this again i want to show you something now when you do this, if it if I type conda info envs envs and then to put put my two minus signs and look at it. Now if you look at it, that this star sign is in front of py two seven env. It's also indicating that which environment is active. Sometimes, you know. Although not doesn't happen much, but sometimes you, you may you may if you you might get this environment name available over here. Okay, so in that case, if you want to know like which environment is presently active, you can just type this command and you there you go. Okay, and now uh, let me deactivate this. Now, uh, clear. Let me clear this up. Now, if you want to install packages in your environment, the command to for that is easy. All you have to do is just type conda install minus n conda install, and then you have to type your environment name. Okay, uh, when you're when you're working with your root environment or the core environment, you don't need this. But if you're working with other environments, you need this. So just type conda install minus n py 27 e and v that's the environment name, and then your package. Let's say I want to install uh, uh, numpy. I'm going with the simple ones. So if I just press that, it will say all the packages that are required for it. So if I press yes, it will go. Now it will go and download the package for numpy for two point for Python two point seven, and then install install them up. Now as that goes on, as that goes on, this is how you install pack install packages in uh, environments. Now the next thing I will tell you guys is how to list down all the packages that are in available in different environments, okay, so that you can have an access to it. Okay, now let's see. Will is this over? Yeah, perfect. Now let me clear this up. Clear the clear the terminal up. Now, yeah. Now to list down all the envi uh, you know. All the files. I just have to, um, packages that are in. So I just have to conda list and a presenter. If I do that, if I do that, now it will tell me all the files and all the environments, all the packages that are installed. Install the root environment as of now, which is available in home UB Anaconda 3. Okay. So this will give me a list of all the files that are available as of now. Now. Now, if you want to li listen to all the files that are available in my environment, all you have to do is just the uh, conda uh, list and then minus n or minus minus name and then I will type my environment name py27env and I press enter. There you go, I get a list. Now, it, now if I, if I do the same and uh, pu put an arrow mark over here and write a file name say output dot txt the presenter um uh, okay okay this folder does not have any permissions so if you just type this let me put this in my home folder if you do that it may look nothing like happened but if I go to my home folder and look at this file output dot txt 
Oh, come on. Actually, I'm running in my virtual box, so it's taking quite a bit of time. Seriously? Anyway. Uh, okay, if you look at the if you look at the results, they're exactly the same. Now you have an option to have a list list of all the things, all the libraries that are available. That's one way of looking at it. Now I'll tell you guys another another way that you can use it to install packages easily. So just have to type conda. If you just type conda, uh, just a list, and then you type export. Export and then you type uh, your some page like uh, root uh, dot txt and press enter. Okay, nothing like uh, if you, there will be a text file at root dot txt and if you look at it, it say a few things. It says this file may be used to create an envi create an environment using okay using this so if you look at it uh, it just exported all the uh, version of all the version numbers and the python distribution for all the packages now if you want to create an environment let's say a new environment with all these files and folders all you have to do instead of installing them one after the other all you have to do is just follow what that's given over here so if i just open up a terminal it says you just have to type conda create and create okay so let me create this conda create and then it says minus minus name or just you can just type minus n and then new environment here it's the environment name okay um the environment name let's see py35 let's say py35 a new environment and then i type file and then i give this file uh what, uh, what was it root okay and i press enter now conda will automatically go to the internet and download all these packages that are necessary and create an environment how simple is that this way your life is much automated as long as you have a proper internet connection the, your life is pretty automated over here this way you're also able to create multiple environments and manage them and now what i'm going to do is okay now what i'm going to do is that inst uh, i'm going to tell you guys how to uh make a symbolic link for your new environment thereby you can access it access it without swapping between the active environments okay what i mean by is if i type python over here now it will just show anaconda python 3.5.2 what if i want to access python uh, my the python in my environment py27 e and v without doing this source activate deactivate blah 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 thing well it's easy First, you need to create a symbolic link, and uh, I'll tell you guys how to do it. Just type sudo minus uh, sudo ln, and then type minus s, and then type home. I mean the va just uh, redirect to the pa place where your environment is. Okay, so it's in home. Ob here the username uh, anaconda envs uh, by environment is py27. In that there is a folder called as bin, and then you type Python. And then type Python, okay? And then we'll make a link and keep it in your main user folder, U USR bin, and then give a name for it. P I'm going to give it py27on, indicating that it's a version of Python in its name. So if I present it, it's going to ask me for my password and presenter. Okay, I already have this link created, so that's why it's throwing me an error. Error, but uh, if you haven't created, make that. And now what you do is that if you just uh, close it down and restart one, type py27on, and check this out. You're able to access your Python 2.7.2.7.12 directly without having to switch between your environments. Pretty cool, huh? Now oh, that's how we do work with environments. Okay, now that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Now in the next tutorial, that will be the last one in this, where I'll be telling you guys, uh, you know, how to update packages, up update packages and delete and update packages and delete uh, environment and packages. Okay, so see you guys then.